today we will see ohm's law ohm's law states that the current flowing through a resistor directly depends upon applied voltage the current flowing through a resistor is inversely proportional to the value of the resistor now let me explain the same with your simple circuit here i am having a dc source and then here is here the applied voltage is v this is r the current flowing through the resistor is i by ohm's law states that if when i increase the applied voltage the current flowing through the resistor will increase when i decrease the applied voltage the current flowing through the resistor will decrease the other relation is current is inversely proportional to r value that means when i when r value is high the current flowing through that resistor will be low in other case if resistor value is low the current flowing through that resistor will be high now let us verify this by using a simple circuit now this is a simple circuit here we are having a voltage source and r here i can change the voltage and r value by varying this knob now i am keeping a r value is constant now i kept the r value as a constant now when i by ohms law when i increase the v value when i increase the applied voltage the current will increase now we can see that now the voltage is 0.4 the current is 5.9 milliampere now i am increasing the current from 0.4 to 1.5 volt now the current is 22.1 milliampere you can see that when i increase the applied voltage the current increases now i am still increasing the applied voltage to 2.9 voltage that now the current is 4.6 milliampere now the applied voltage is 6.1 and you can see that the current has increased to 89.7 milliampere it verifies the first statement when i when, when the applied voltage is increased the current flowing through the resistor will increase provided the r value is constant this is our first statement from ohms law the next thing is in ohms law i and r are inversely proportional now you can see that when i increase the r value the current value is decreasing the vice versa is when i decrease the r value the current will increase now let me change the value of v now when i increase the r value you can see that the current value is decreasing that means current flowing through the resistor is inversely proportional to value of the resistor if i reduce the value of r the current flowing through the resistor will increase thank you next application of ohms law this is called as ohms law triangle this is called as ohms law triangle by using this triangle we can find the unknown value if two values are known we can find the third unknown value in this triangle i and r is known i can find the unknown value b in this triangle voltage and r value is known 
and hence by using the known value i can find unknown value by use ohms in the last triangle r value is unknown i can find the r unknown value by using b and i now for the first let us see an example for first triangle here b is voltage drop across a resistor i is current flowing through the resistor r is value of the resistor now let me take a simple circuit the applied voltage is v the current flowing through the resistor is i now let us assume that r value is 10 ohm and the applied voltage is 5 volt now for this circuit we need to find the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor here now to find the voltage drop across the resistor the formula is v is equal to i r but here two values the current flowing through the resistor is unknown and hence the current flowing through the resistor can be found by using the second triangle by using the second triangle in this triangle here the applied input voltage is known and r value is known. and hence i can calculate the current flowing through that resistor the input voltage is 5 volt and r value is 10 volt the current flowing is 0.5 now the current flowing through the resistor is no now here both the values are now let me substitute the value and let me find the voltage drop across 10 ohm resistor the current is 0.5 ampere and r value is 10 the voltage drop across the resistor is 5 the voltage drop across 10 ohm resistor is 5 volt and hence by using the first triangle we have found the voltage drop across the resistor by using the known values this is the use of ohms last thing if voltage and current is known i can find the unknown arm value now let me take the same circuit but here voltage and current is no voltage is 5 volt current is 0.5 and and r value is i can find the r value by using ohms by using this triangle the formula for r is r is equal to v by v value is 5 and r value i value is the r value is 10 and hence by using the ohms law triangle you have found the unknown value r you have found the unknown value r by using the known value v and i this is the use of our ohms law the other use of our ohms law is we can find the vi characteristics of an unknown resistor and you can see that if r value is low the slope is low if r value is high the slope is by using ohms law we can find the vi characteristics of an you can find the vi characteristics by increasing the value of the applied voltage from 0 to max
after increasing the voltage you have to note down its corresponding current and if you plot the graph this will give you the vi characteristics of a resistor uh, these are the uses of your phone slot thank you